Bismillah. We say Bismillah before we start anything. What does it mean though? Bismillah means in the name of Allah. But isn't that kind of an incomplete statement? In the name of Allah, what? What in the name of Allah? Why do we say that? What does it actually mean? Now a lot of the time when I ask this question, children say that it is to seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's correct. But then why don't we just say, oh Allah help me? Why do we say in the name of Allah? Why don't we say, oh Allah help me in this? Well, that clearly means that Bismillah is more than seeking help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is something more behind this word Bismillah. So let's see what it is. We say in the name of Allah before every action because every action we do should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Muslims, we must think before doing anything. Bismillah gives you a chance to stop for a second and do that. Bismillah is the time for us to make the right intention for whatever action we are about to do. Whether it is eating, playing, doing homework, whatever. Bismillah is your chance to stop for a second and think, why am I doing this? Am I doing this to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy? Or am I going to am I doing it to make someone else happy? Or just to enjoy myself? Is it halal? Does Allah tell me something about how I should do it? So Bismillah gives us a chance to stop and change our intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know in Islam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards us and punishes us according to what our intention was. So two people could be doing the same thing, but one could be earning a lot of reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for doing it, and another could in fact be earning punishment. It all depends on their intention. So Bismillah gives us a chance to stop and chain our intention to something that will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't think anybody would do something haram for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do you? Do you think anybody would take a glass of beer and go like, Bismillah? <laughs> no way, right? As soon as they say Bismillah, they will automatically start like, Whoa, what am I doing? This won't please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me give you an example of changing your intention. How can you make eating roasted chicken an act of worship? Something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you for. Like you are eating with every bite, you are getting reward. But before you eat, you say Bismillah. But more than that, when you are saying Bismillah, you remember what? I am doing it in the name of Allah. I am doing it for Allah. So how can you make your eating for Allah? You ask yourself, are you eating it only to enjoy it? To fill your stomach? Or how can you make, it, make your eating for Allah? You can change your intention. You could say, I am eating so I have more energy and then I can do something good for the sake of Allah. I can go and help my mom or do homework or pray or do something else good. Then the reason you are eating is not to enjoy but to do something good to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hence it becomes an act. Allah will reward you for it becomes an act of worship for you. You eating roasted chicken becomes an act of worship for you. Wow, isn't that amazing? This is the power of intention. So don't just keep saying Bismillah, Bismillah, Bismillah before everything and you never ever even stop to think. No, take a second when you say Bismillah before every action you do and inshallah every action you do will become an act of worship. Number two. Number two. Saying Bismillah reminds us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It reminds us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us. And then inshallah, we do the action with ihsan. Imagine if you're washing dishes and you don't really like doing it. So you are just wiping it away and putting them away secretly before mom finds out. But imagine if mom was standing right there watching you. You are going to be doing a much better job, aren't you? But remember... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always watching us, but we forget a lot of the time. 
And Bismillah reminds us of that. And I'm sure if you know before every action and you remember before every action that Allah is watching me, you are going to be doing a much better job. So when you say Bismillah, remember Allah is watching me and do the best in that action. Bismillah is also a declaration from us. We acknowledge that we are weak. We can't do anything if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't help us. I can't even drink a glass of water if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want it. What if I pick up a glass of water and before I even drink it, a mosquito drops in it? Or glass slip, slips away from my hand, I drop it. Even something as easy as taking a sip of water is not under my control. I need the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do it. A person who doesn't believe in Allah may foolishly think that they can do everything themselves. But a Muslim recognizes that the power belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I am helpless without it. And you know what? That's what makes us so powerful. And that's what may, inshallah, the power in every action that you do. If you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know what? The shaitan becomes really, really small whenever you say bismillah. Then, inshallah, you can go ahead and do the action with much more confidence that the help of Allah is with you, inshallah. Now, number four. You know, you have made the intention that I am doing this to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am doing this for Allah. And you know that you have the help of Ar-Rahman. You have the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has all the power in the world. So then you can go ahead and do the action with full confidence. You should not hesitate after that. You must do the best in that action. Once we say Bismillah, then it becomes our responsibility to do the best we can in that action. You should ask yourself, when you say Bismillah, you should ask yourself, what is the best way I can do it? Did Allah teach me something about it? For example, if I'm eating roasted chicken and I said Bismillah, and I'm doing it to please Allah, I should ask myself, what did Allah tell me about eating? How should I eat? I shouldn't eat too much. I'm not going to eat the whole chicken by myself then, right? Because then I'm just going to be lazy. It's not going to please Allah. I'm not going to be able to do what I intended to do. So we do it in the best way, in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be most pleased. So Bismillah is not just like a magic mantra that we just say before doing it. It is a very powerful tool that puts power in everything that we do. One of the scholars said, Bismillah is like a sword. If you know how to use it, then you can be very powerful. But if you don't know how to use a sword, is it any good to you? No, you might even hurt yourself. So if you don't know how to use Bismillah, it's not going to be of much use to you. You have to remember these things. What did I say? You have to remember when you say Bismillah, that you are doing it to number one, to seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, you make a good intention. You ask yourself, how will this action that I'm doing will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And number three, you do the best you can in that action. And then inshallah, you will find that Bismillah will put power and excellence in everything you do inshallah. So remember, make a good intention, ask Allah for help, and do the best you can. Keep saying Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum.